If you haven't heard, Orion is the name of the next open AI model. This thing's going to revolutionize our life. It's going to be the best AI model ever created here to date. Billions upon billions of dollars being burnt. Half of the world's energy is going straight to this model. Huh? What's this? Reports that OpenAI's next major language model, Orion, delivers much smaller performance gains than expected. What's more, Orion doesn't consistently beat its predecessors in areas like programming. <laughs> there is just something so sweet about reading this. I don't know what has been going on for like the last year and a half. If you've been anywhere on the internets and involving programming, the amount of just constant downwards pressure on anybody who programs without just constant AI assistance is just, it's just ridiculous. I mean, the fact that even today was programming, building out a cool little level editor for the game we're working on and just constantly like, oh, you know, a co-pilot could have done this, right? Like people are just so trained to think, oh, you just gotta use the AI. And I don't really blame them because everything is just like AI, use the AI, everything, just use the AI. If you're not using AI, you're just being left behind. <laughs> but just the fact that guess what? Hey, it's been a year. ChatGPT ain't that great at uh, programming, okay? I think we can all agree to that. That Yeah, it can do some impressive stuff. Hey, you, hey, you want some line segment collision? Yeah, it's going to pump out line segment collisions for you like that. It's easy. It's fantastic. But if you actually want to do anything, it's just not that Fabulous. I hear cursor is pretty great, but nonetheless, it's gonna not gonna be that fabulous. So to see that after a year long wait, just getting ready, okay? O one comes out, drops reasoning. Hell yeah, it can solve how many R's in strawberry. Man, this next iteration of GPT is gonna be out out of this world. Nothing's gonna be able to stop you now. You finally can solve everything, and boom, Orion comes out. Meh. It might not even be any better. It might be literally the exact same thing. And, you know, there's claims about how they've actually run out of fresh data. OpenAI is literally saying we're out of data. We need to create synthetic data. For us to be able to make these things better, we need you creating things now, like right now. Please create stuff, but don't use an AI. But seriously, if you don't use an AI, we're all screwed. So please make us stuff right now for free. But the thing that really gets me, the thing that really just kind of makes me worried in all of this is that I, I had a chance to talk with a college student just yesterday and I was asking him about you know the computer courses he always makes jokes because he's like I'm the worst of the, all the computer people uh, you know I can do a little bit of Python he's a mechanical engineer okay can't play the guy he doesn't want he doesn't want to be on computers okay he wants to do a little bit of catting call it a day like that's it that's what he wants to do and he was telling me that he has to do this group project with EEs uh, so electrical engineers and so they're going to do some of the programming side and kind of do some of the power side and they're going to set some stuff up and he's going to have to you know cat out some parts and and that's how it's going but he says that he's increasingly the one that has to solve all the programming problems because the ee students all of them uniformly just turn to chat jippity and say hey program this up really quickly for me and when they get into a bug they try to like put on this the black hat of prompting and be like no bro don't bro don't worry i'm gonna just prove my way out of this problem and they sit there and they spin for hours just trying to get through the prompting to make chat gpt solve their problems and it's not and he's finding himself consistently going well i've never learned how to prompt, but instead I just learned how to solve basic problems with programming, and he's the one solving all the problems with programming. He's a mechie. He doesn't care about this crap. He doesn't want to do Python. He doesn't want to be a part of it, but the people that are actually designed to work on computers, computer systems, and actually be able to be somewhat fluent in programming as a concept can't even do it because they're so reliant I almost said resilient, not resilient. In fact, opposite of resilient. They're so reliant on something just helping themselves that they can't even do it themselves. They can't get past it. If you can't black magic it, guess what? It ain't working. If you can't just do that weird motion, whatever seance you'd need to get out the answer, well, guess what? Sorry. Hey, have you tried threatening to uh, off yourself? Have you tried threatening their mother? Have you tried the... <laughs> <laughs> the things you have to do to get answers out of ChatGPT are absurd. You just got to gaslight it, okay? Like, that's it. And if it doesn't work, you're screwed. And so when I see this whole Orion thing come down and that, guess what? Programming isn't getting any better. Like, hopefully, please, hopefully, a lot of you go, 
Like this would be fantastic news because guess what? You don't have to worry as much. Okay, maybe it's not improving that much. Okay, maybe Devin isn't just lurking in your closet ready to take your job at any moment. Okay, maybe Devin is just a bad intern and that's that. And maybe the best thing you can do is to become good at your craft because maybe, just maybe, hear me out here. I know this is a crazy idea. But maybe becoming really good at your craft is going to have this super long-term multiplier effect that is going to not only make you stand out in this next generation of programmers, but make you be able to effectively use the Jippities when you need to. Because you know what's really great about the Jippities? Ah, when you already know a problem space, you already kind of know what to do. You just don't really know how to phrase it in something like, hey, give me the, how do, how do I launch a machine on Fly.io? Give me the API. Boom. Hey, uh, how do I get the size of a rendered element on screen? Oh, okay, okay, get the, okay, 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 yeah. You can just go through and see all these things and you know what you're doing because you're using it like search and it's fantastic. You're not using it to solve your problems. You're using it to get information to solve your problems. So guess what? You're not cooked. If you're new, you're not cooked. You got time. You got lots of time. And yeah, maybe one day programming will be will be done. Maybe one day there will be no more programming to be had because the AIs can just do everything better than you, faster than you, and more complete than you and with less bugs than you. Assuming that we get to that day, that day may happen. But guess what? Maybe I'll still be that guy that just slams on my keys and enjoys moving around in Vim and just building the things that I want to build. Maybe I can just enjoy it for the sake of enjoying it. Also, it's kind of funny that, you know, running out of high quality training material, what Chad GPT or OpenAI is actually saying underneath the hood is that like, hey, programmers, you're, you're not really building anything that that's good. You keep on producing pretty shit code. You know what? I don't know what it is, but we can find 100,000 React to do apps. We just need you to build something else. Can you stop building React apps? Because you know what? OpenAI, we can't. We can't make a better programmer because you guys aren't better at programming. It turns out ChatGPT is already as good as the average. So guess what? If you can, if you can outdo ChatGPT, you're already above the average. You're already crushing it. You know what? It's going to be nothing but sunshine for you coming up, buddy. The name is, man, Devin, you, you, just, you suck a gen.